right after uploading my Christmas wishes 2021 I saw the subscribers going down and I had to smile because I knew why then the ugly comments started raining down like ecclesiastical missiles in the end times saying that I denied God and Jesus that I was a bad person and that they'd unsubscribe. Uh, hypocrisy means claiming to have moral standards to which one's actions do not conform. And here you have a direct proof of how these religious freaks lie, thus breaking one of their own rules and one of their own Ten Commandments themselves. Also, their very own saying goes in Matthew 7, 3 of the Bible. Why do you look at the speck in your brother's eye, but fail to notice the beam in your own eye? Because the word deny means when I would say there is no Jesus or there is no God. This is what the word deny means. And I never said this, as I just said that I personally don't believe in God or Jesus, which by no means includes denying them and saying that they don't exist, which I would never ever permit myself, myself to say such a thing. I just don't know, so I don't believe, because I don't know. Why should I believe something I don't know of, huh? You tell me. Not to believe is a very passive thing that only concerns me without doing harm to anyone. But to deny is active and outgoing, involving something or someone else. I read it out for you here. Don't believe everything you hear and only half of what you see. So these dangerous religious freaks twist people's words like the devil's forked serpent tongues, as though some dogmatic ecclesiastical differences these religious freaks have led to many religious wars costing the lives of millions, like the horrendous 30-year war between Protestants and Catholics, Christians killing Christians. I'll read out for you. Europe's apocalypse, with more than 5 million dying in an orgy of violence between Protestants and Catholics. It's little wonder that the Thirty Years' War was remembered as the moment when God deserted Europe. The world should watch these religious freaks who twist another man's word to bring harm upon. Go wash your forked tongue with some holy water. For these religious freaks, the belief system is like a rat race with a lot of other competitors that need to be eliminated by spreading lies and twisting words so God or Jesus will love them more than the other 
competitors a Jesus red race by the criteria I love Jesus more than you do or I believe more profoundly than you do and you you are not a real believer Jesus look at me only I'm your only true believer uh, read with me Jesus loves you but I am his favorite these are the kind of religious freaks who in the Jesus rat race would call for the Inquisition to have you burnt at the stakes because you don't believe enough as these pious hypocrites who would even crucify their own Jesus again if he'd stand in the way in this ecle ecclesiastical rat race for the most pious like in a bloody miss holy jerusalem election with all the potential misses using their elbows and the rest of them nasty feminine tricks the first shall be the last and i'm so glad to be at the very back of this jesus rat race i don't like lies and twisting someone's words i've seen enough of that in switzer land the land of sar i like facts and it's an historical fact that christians are the biggest killers in history where in two world wars millions of christians killed millions of other Christians look they're all Christian crosses aren't they now so if I were you I'd be very quiet and especially in my channel keep a low profile and don't smudge my channel with word twisters and other dishonesties and for those who did I want you to pack your bags unsubscribe and off you go with your forked serpent tongues another myth of these religious freaks and their lies is that all heavy metal musicians take drugs and sing devil related lyrics which is an absolute lie at least i don't take drugs and since a year I stopped drinking alcohol too in fact heavy metal musicians are just not the type of indoctrinated choir boys singing gospels that the religious freaks want them to be therefore becoming mean jealous and take devilish attitudes spreading filthy lies about metal musicians that are based upon religious lies out of the Jesus rat race oh I believe more than you do I'm better I go to heaven and you don't only me it says 10 best Christian metal bands so you wouldn't believe it but there are even christian metal bands without tattoos except for the occasional jesus loves you tattoo or in this case metal for jesus tattoo who don't take drugs and who don't swear nor blaspheme so here it says top five christian metal bands christian metal so you see there are even pious muslims who play heavy metal 
and don't even drink alcohol. Because heavy metal brings people and religions together. Because heavy metal is cool. Here it says, metal. And they all have the, the hijab and the... Um, uh, and they're like metal, you know? There's <laughs> nothing wrong with it. I used to play classical guitar and listen to classical music only until I got tortured by the Swiss through code O2T oxygen deprivation over an extended amount of time had my two-year-old son kidnapped and got terrorized by the Swiss for 25 years. Then something snapped inside and got extinguished. I gave away my classical guitar and started to like heavy metal, giving me comfort in this lousy situation especially the heavy metal branch called proc rock for progressive rock like this album here or another branch out of the proc rock called neo prog like this french group here nine skies i like to see comfort in in my solitude Read with me, music is not a crime. And these heavy metal musicians create revolutionary new tones, as I'm a revolutionary myself. As your Mr. Jesus was a revolutionary himself, who in fact hated religious dogmatism and he hated the religious freaks of his days. If Jesus would be living here today, he'd love heavy metal, prog rock, and smash the institution. Heavy metal with their long hair smashes the institution. Jesus with his long hair used to smash the institution of his days. And Homie Ross with his long hair, smashes the institution. Cause we are the institution smashers. And I will throw down the Swiss Nazi Templar money tables, as has been prophesied a long time ago.